All right, what's up, you guys? I know it's been about a month since I made my last video. I actually got a new job. I work at uh, Bennington Subaru now. What you're looking at is, like I said, the 2020 SCI. We've got our 19-inch uh, front and rear aluminum alloy wheels. So over here, you've got your six-piston Brembo brakes, and then in the back over here, you've got dual-piston Brembo brakes, drilled and slotted rotors. We're looking at 310 horsepower. You've also got your steering responsive headlights, and they're LEDs, and they're automatic. So what that means is basically, you know, if you're turning and you're driving, you've got your you've got your headlights on. It's more angled towards where you're turning at, so you've got more you know visibility. At night. You guys know me. I love Subaru, so the fact that I got to work here, I think, is just really amazing. And uh, I'm in my dream car. Well, not my dream car, but a model of my dream car. So let's, let's dive right into it. Like I said earlier, you guys, it's the EJ257. Yeah, unlike the WRX, which is the FA20. So this one, like I said, is pushing 310 horsepower, where the WRX is pushing, I think, about 268. This is a 2.5 liter. WRX is a 2 liter turbocharged. This is a 2.5 liter turbocharged. I wish it said the STI uh, lettering right on it. That'd be even that'd be even more awesome. Uh, we've got our powder coated red manifold. All right, so right off the bat, when you hop in here, the first thing you're gonna feel is the shifter, clearly. You've got a close ratio six speed manual, and then you've got the option, I think, of a short throw shifter. This one actually does have the short throw shifter in it, so I have been able to feel it. And the transition from gear to gear is just, it's so snappy, it's amazing. So you got your sport mode, you got sport sharp, and then you got intelligent. Sport is the basic mode that you're always in, your, your basic driving mode. Sport sharp is actually your, your, you know, your racing mode. And then you got your intelligent mode, which is for smart driving, so just kind of saving gas. You've also got your DCCD here, or driver controlled center diff. You want your torque bias to be more front wheel drive, you go ahead and press up. You want it more rear wheel drive, you go ahead and press down. But I would personally leave that alone just because messing with your differentials can be really, really bad if you don't know exactly what you're doing. The STI etching in there always looks so cool to me. And then one other thing here you got is your boost gauge. So right now you can see that we're running only nine pounds of boost because you know we're not moving. I think it's cool that they have the uh, boost gauge right here in the middle up on the dash. It's pretty pretty easy to see. As far as the interior goes, I think that they've definitely outdone themselves. They got the ultra suede right now with the uh, leather as well. You can upgrade to Recaro seats if you want, but it's gonna be a little bit more extra. The last time that I was in a WRX or an STI, it had practically plastic everything. I, you know, it was kind of a cheap interior. This is definitely a step in the right direction for Subaru. I think that they're doing a really good job with their cars. You got uh, Starlink Safety, Starlink Security, and then Starlink Concierge. And then there's Starlink Safety and Security Plus. So this one actually comes with Starlink Safety Plus enabled, I believe. And then up here, if you look, you've got your SOS button, which once you connect to Starlink, this will go ahead and connect contact emergency services if your phone's not working. And then this is to Starlink directly. All right, so now just kind of hopping into the back of the SDI, I have the seating position in my driving position, and I'm about six feet tall, so I'm not I'm not a short guy. I have a very good amount of space here. I don't know if you can see, but my legs aren't even close to touching the back seat. And then as far as headroom goes, I think I'm pretty, pretty set. So, you know, all you tall guys that are out there, buy a Subaru. All right, so I can't drive the car in the street for you guys, unfortunately, just because I'm not 21. And to be on their insurance policy here at my job, you gotta be 21. And I just, I just didn't fit the bill. But what I can do is I can do a couple pulls for you back and forth in the lot here, just to kind of, you know, explain the feeling of the car for you guys. One thing I can say right off the bat right now before I even pull away is because of the short throw shifter, it definitely feels way snappier. It was such a short amount of time between neutral to first. It's it's very snappy, very awesome. We're gonna go ahead and rev it up. Sorry, my phone fell the uh, first time, but let's try that again. So like I said, back in the first gear, go ahead and put a little bit of gas. So right off the bat, just pulling away in this car, it feels very, very, very responsive in turning. It's got the, uh, I believe it's a 13.3.1 13, steering ratio. So it's very quick, very snappy, um, very responsive, but it does feel really good. Yeah, okay. So as you guys know, I am in the market for a WRX, not an STI. And you know, as far as dailying goes, this thing does feel pretty good. Like I said, it's a very solid feeling car. Um, Oh yeah, just from first to second. Like I said, it's just a seamless transition. It's like you can't even tell that you're going from gear to gear. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this back just because I do have to get back to work. I did this on my break. But I hope you guys really kind of just enjoyed this quick little uh, video. 
I will try to get more, you know, car reviews out for you guys, whether it's at dealerships or just people's personal cars, but just stay tuned. But thank you for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed. I know I did. <laughs> with that being said, it looks like they got rid of the turbo lag problem that people have been having with the uh, WRX and STIs way back in the day, which, good on you, Subaru.